So we're talking about this move we've just seen in Bitcoin and Tesla shares. I've got the move in Bitcoin right here on the 15 minute chart, powering back above that 40,000 level here. And the main news is that Tesla have announced that they're going to be accepting Bitcoin payments. So joining me here, I've got Eddie Donmez and Tim Duggan to discuss the move both in Bitcoin and Tesla shares. Uh, Eddie, I'm going to start with you. You're probably the most informed here. Tell me what's happened. Give us a bit of background to this move in both Bitcoin and Tesla shares. Yeah, hugely exciting for the cryptocurrency space. Uh, more about institutional uh, acceptance, really. So Tesla and now announce that they're going to be accepting Bitcoin as payments. But they've also bought 1.5 billion in Bitcoin, according to a, an SEC filing. And why this is significant for Bitcoin, of course, uh, and for Tesla, but more so for the Bitcoin space is this is now setting the scene for institutional uh, acceptance, both from uh, an asset management kind of perspective you know, ARK uh, Investments have actually released a piece saying if every company in the S&P yes. 500 allocated 1% uh, of their kind of treasuries uh, to Bitcoin, it would hit 40,000. And if they did 10%, it would hit 400,000. So what this is basically being seen as Bitcoin is essentially a cash or a cash equivalent basically. So traditionally, lots of corporate treasuries would have held treasuries, okay? Uh, super, you know, uh, low risk, you know, relatively low return. And what this basically gives a green light for is more institutional uh, and corporations holding their cash in Bitcoin. Okay, so this is huge. Let, let me come in on that. Let me come in on that. Because that's interesting. Because do you remember, Tim, back in November, we did a video yeah. about how this time it's different. When Bitcoin passed 20,000 towards the end of the year. We did a quick clip. This time it's different. Why is it different to 2018? And Eddie, it was exactly that thing. It was the feeling that there's way more institutional involvement here with old dogs like me now being interested in crypto and Bitcoin. You know, back in 2017, back in 2016, I have to admit, hands up. You know, I, I, I didn't think it was credible yet. I didn't think it had been tested enough yet. But towards the end of last year, on that break of 20,000, the reason why this time it's different is Bitcoin had been through that you know, consolidation period, it had been tested, and the voices talking about the, the, the cryptocurrency was, or, you know, were much more institutional. One issue I have with this all, though, is obviously, you know, going back a year ago, um, Elon Musk changed his profile to have a Bitcoin logo on social media. He's been pushing this and pushing this. Also turns out he's got a chunky position in Bitcoin as well. Should he be allowed to do this? Is this is this acceptable? Has this one man got too much power now? Yeah, I think I think he definitely has a huge influence. All you need to do is look at Dogecoin, that uh, literally joke of a of a cryptocurrency, uh, and the effect that he has. Um, but just to kind of set the precedent, Michael Saylor uh, of MicroStrategy, it's an, another company, kind of a consultancy company. He's been around for a long time and he's kind of set the precedent for converting treasury holdings into this Bitcoin. So it has been done before, but for Tesla to do it is really big, big news because you know the cult following that is almost mirrored with Tesla and Bitcoin, right? Yeah. But in terms I, I, of the- I have, I have a Doge chart here actually. Um, that I could share. Go on, share Dogecoin. And obviously, this is up. I mean, what is it? 640% in the so last this is, months. Yeah, so this is Doge. Um, the prior high there, I mean, God, these are very small increments. We're looking at the daily bars here. Um, as you can see, we're just testing that all-time high here at about, what was it? Actually, sorry, this is not Doge. This is Doge here. This is Bitcoin we're looking at. And we're just getting the Doge. Um, coin up as you can uh, see that that's more like 08 it. was the prior all time high tested yesterday um, on these markets and you know I think this is probably going to see a bit of a pullback but then the general lift I know a lot of people are going to be talking about Doge Doge is everywhere of course because this is phenomenal but I, I, I'm on Eddie's line I actually think this story is way bigger than than, than just Dogecoin this is, yeah. this is global impact when we talk about the fact that treasury departments can start to hold uh, some of the valuation in, in, in crypto. The one question I've got for you guys before we wrap up this short uh, update is, you now I've been following Elon on Twitter for a while, the impact that he's had just over the last sort of two or three weeks, it's kind of like 
he's got the power bug. I'm what I've seen in the past, time and time again, and we've seen this actually going back a long time in the past, is power is addictive and it uh, creates a drug. And I, I, maybe there's a long way to go on this, but we saw what happened with Trump and his Twitter. But, you know, is there a danger that Elon's actually beginning to push it too far? And I, I think there's cases here that, look, he's been promoting Bitcoin for a year and then to, to make this announcement. I mean, you know, he always knew he would make this announcement. There's definitely something odd here. The fact that, you know, one person can have such an influence over... Uh, asset prices and benefit from that influence. I don't know whether I'm pushing too far down that line, but I'm just beginning to get a whiff of this think, getting a little bit out of control. I think he's actually in a little loophole there where I think he is beyond SEC reach right on this because the, the crypto space is pretty much unregulated. So I think he's in a loophole at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't know. Experience has taught me if someone you know, irritates the industry that much, like you saw perhaps with uh, what the, uh, but, the, the game yeah. is playing, there'll, 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 there'll be some kind of... Just, just one injury. interesting thing on this is um, the new, there's a new SEC chairman, actually, uh, and he is very understanding of cryptocurrency. He actually spent time at MIT, uh, so he has a good understanding of, uh, of the space. There's also been uh, someone underneath him, the head of cryptocurrency research, has actually been promoted to directly report to him. This Bitcoin was not um, really accepted from the previous SEC chairman, but this new one does have an, in, uh, an understanding from his time at MIT. So, yeah, yeah. interesting things to come. Absolutely. Definitely. Well, listen, guys, thank you so much for this wrap. Just to finish on uh, on this chart of, of Bitcoin then. And I mean, Tesla shares are up now, what, uh, nearly 2%, um, one and a half. I, I don't have those up looking at Bitcoin now. But, you know, you can see this move on, on a longer term time frame. It's been phenomenal. But we were definitely right. End of November 2020, this felt different. It felt more institutional. It felt like there was a lot more depth to it. So, yeah, Tesla up 2.5% now as I speak. Thanks very much, guys, for this recap and look forward to uh, catching up with you later in the day.